Do you know that without Hanukkah, there cannot be Christian? Coming up. Hi, my name is Aviel. I'm Israel, the super guy from here, from the land of the Messiah. Guys, I welcome you one more time to my channel. Happy Hanukkah. Yes, there cannot be Christmas without Hanukkah. Guys, if you stay to the end, I have a surprise. I have three special guests who will help us light the first candle of Hanukkah. Maybe you don't know what Hanukkah is about? Well, it's actually mentioned in the Gospel. That's what is connected to Christmas. In order to understand Hanukkah, you have to read the first chapters of Hanukkah from one to six in order to have a background. But I hear you ask him, well, but it's not in my Bible. Of course it's not. If you're a Protestant, then it is not. Sorry, but Luther decided to take those books out. How dare him? Never mind. <laughs> you can always go online and research it yourself. And anyway, this coming Shabbat, Live from here, from the land of Messiah, I will be expanding more about what Hanukkah is. 3 o'clock Israel time, 8 o'clock in the morning New York time, 9 if I'm not mistaken, in Manila. So we will expand. You will have all the questions. Maybe if you watch the replay, you can ask those questions during the replay. So what Hanukkah is all about? Well, you can actually read it first in the Gospel of John. It's the only Gospel that mentions Hanukkah. But not by that name. By the translation of the name. Meaning, dedication. Chapter 10, verses 22 and 23, it mentions Yeshua in Jerusalem in the Temple during winter, which is right now, during Hanukkah time. However, the way we celebrate Hanukkah today is not the same as it was celebrated uh, 2,000 years ago. Now, perhaps you know a little bit about Hanukkah and the so-called miracle of the oil which lasted a day. Well, if you have been watching my channel, you know that I separate legends and myth and tradition from history, I mean biblical history, and also using uh, a little bit sometimes of archaeology. So we do know that the so-called miracle of the lighting, meaning that it lasted for eight days. Once again, I invite you to this Shabbat. We're going to explore and expand even more this concept. It's actually a legend. I'm going to say by a legend is because we do not have this in any Jewish literature prior to the destruction of the temple. We have this after the destruction of the temple. So we do not have it mentioned in, actually in the Maccabees, we are the, you know, the stars of the story. We don't have it in the Gospel. We don't have it in Josephus Flavius, uh, the Jewish historian of Philo, the philosopher. We have it after that. So again, come on Shabbat, and we're going to explore this even more. However, Jewish kids, they don't care. They don't care whether it is historical or not historical. Why is that? Because they get one week of from school, they get uh, presents as well. They eat a lot of candies. So for them, who cares? Let's put aside a little bit the legend of the oil lasting for eight days in the temple. And actually let us focus what Hanukkah is all about. Hanukkah is in reference to the Maccabees which is actually a nickname to a Levi family in a place called Modein. A family who decided to stand against the forces of the Seleucid Kingdom, one of the most powerful nations or empire back in the second century BC. And against all the odds, and for about two decades, they fought fearless against them. And they won. What the fight was all about? Well, come on this Shabbat and we're going to explore even more. However, just to give you a taste of what Hanukkah is all about, it's about standing against those who oppose the Word of God, those who tell us and trying to force us to be who we are not, trying to force us an agenda, 
forbid us to study the Word of God. That's what happened during the second century BC, where Jews were forbidden to study the Torah, where Jews were forbidden to circumcise their children. This is what I said. Without Hanukkah, there is no Christmas. Had the Seleucid Empire won, then Joseph would not find any virgin to marry. What I'm talking about is Joseph and Mary, the mother of Yeshua, the mother of the Messiah. Meaning, God plans of salvation. Once more, if you've been watching my parasha, how God plans salvation for humanity through the Jewish people and precisely through the person of Yeshua, then have they won the Seleucid, then there will not be Judaism in the first century. So you see the importance of Hanukkah? I'm not saying now go all Christians, celebrate Hanukkah and start lighting candles. No, that's a Jewish tradition. So let us have our own tradition. You have Christmas and there's nothing wrong with tradition. What I'm trying to say is that Hanukkah have a very important role in the plans of salvation. These people oppose this mighty empire. Now, does this sound familiar to what is going on today in the free so-called world in which we are living? They're imposing us when the social media and the extreme media politicians are trying to rule us, fabricating story, fabricating numbers, creating fear. Now, I'm asking you, where are the modern Maccabees? Are we going to stand against them? Or are we going to be, because there also were Jewish people in the second century who accepted Hellenism, meaning they accepted Greek culture. Say, it's okay, we can become, they compromise their faith. So, where are the modern Maccabees? I'll let you this question for you to ask in the comments below, or you can join us this coming Shabbat, once again, three o'clock Israel time, eight o'clock in the morning, New York time, nine in the evening, Manila time. So now let's go and see our special guest who came to light the first candle of Hanukkah. Once again, guys, my name is Aviel, I'm Israel super guy from here, from the land of the Messiah. And if you think these videos are beneficial, help us by hitting that like button. And if you think it's very helpful to you, and then consider to subscribe and share with others. Here are our social media, which you can follow as well. And I invite you to go to my website where you will find many pictures taken by me here in the land of the Messiah, as well as my book, The Land of the Messiah, of course. So now let's see our guest for today. Hi girls. Hi, Hi guys. Why are you doing there? <laughs> we're, we're learning about Hanukkah. Oh, can you tell us more about what does it mean? Well, we need... Okay. <laughs> okay, so the Greeks came and so they made it their dream like, like to do bad things, like to eat pigs and like to do to worship other gods and yeah. And also, and then they destroyed their temple and put a bad thing in them. But the, then the Israelites attacked, and then they, well, they only found one jar of oil. So only for one day, but then it's lasted, lasted for, for eight, eight days. days. And that's how Hanukkah was born. Uh, sort of. Uh, there was a yeah. guy named Matityahu, and he had seven times six, something like that. And one of his sons, Yehuda Maccabi, he um, was the one that led the realization to get back the temple and stop uh, Antiochus. That was the, the king's name that was slaving the Israelites and making them do stuff God told them not to do. And after they freed the temple, um, they lit up uh, the Hanukkah, but there was only enough oil for one night. But miraculously, um, God knew that there would be an oil for eight days. Oh. And fun fact, they actually rode on elephants, they Oh, elephants, oh, 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 oh,
Okay, so there's two different Okay, so can you light the candle the then and think the, the sun? Yeah, in the middle there's three and three and then there's one in the middle. Oh. Seven and in the sun there's one. Yeah. Okay, so can you light the candle then? Yeah. And the sun, and the sun? Tomorrow is... Sing it! Sing the song! And me? That's the yeah. three of you. <laughs> and now, and now you... Uh, I forgot. Trump? Don't be the best. That's Spanish. Okay. And uh, what is the 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 Ruiz Rivero version of the song of Hanukkah? Oh, yeah. <laughs> what is that? Hanukkah, Hanukkah, qué linda Hanukkah. Alegría todo el día es la Hanukkah. <laughs> Merry Hanukkah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, girls. See ya.